So we've got a special guest here, David Nelson from Open Pit Lane. How are you, mate? Really, really well. Thanks, uh, thanks for having us on. Ah, pleasure having you, mate. Um, I just want to basically uh, just tell the viewers uh, what Open Pit Lane is and what do you guys do? Yeah, sure. So um, back in 2018, uh, we had a, a, a little racetrack called the Ben Motorsport Park open up. Uh, I one. say little in jest. It's <laughs> a little one. The, it's a little one. The, the, the biggest track in the Southern Hemisphere uh, and one of the very longest in the world. And um, I... I um, uh, Obviously, I went to like the very first event I could there, and it was great fun. I had an absolute ball uh, in my Integra, um, but uh, the the limitation was that they were trying to run fifteen minute sessions uh, on a track with a five minute outlap and five minute inlap. So it didn't really work very well, and uh, some people weren't even getting flying laps in. Um, this was a, a sprint event, so um, I've been extremely fortunate in life to be able to go to some amazing track events all over the world uh, in Europe, places like Nurburgring and Spa. And that sort of stuff, and um, and I went well. I've been to these events over there, and they run an open pit lane format, which is um, you, anyone that's registered for the the track day event can go on the track whenever they want, stay out as long as they want. Um, it's just a constant flow of cars on and off, so there's you don't have sessions, you don't have the the pressure of people all being released at the same time to the same bit of track and that sort of stuff. So. I went, well, why don't we do that here? Because because um, there's there's no one that I'm aware of doing it and it would kind of solve the problem with the really long outlet, really long inlet. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, I kind of started a hobby business, uh, you know, rented the track, did a, did a few events and um, and then um, you, you won't like this very much, Ivan. I took a massive pay cut and quit my job in finance and uh, decided to do motorsport full time. Oh, there you go. There you go. So um, at least at least I'm not the only crazy one out there. But <laughs> yeah, I've, exactly, exactly. I've actually, you know, like I've been privileged, you know, to attend uh, some of your events and I've attended now two endurance events and, and another one coming up uh, shortly. And yeah, the open pit lane format works on so many levels because let's say you have car problems and you need to work something, you know, you're missing out on a session, you know, like during a day, normally you get five sessions max. And if you're having problems, well, that's it. Bye-bye. You know, your your session are gone or even two. So it's a, it's a brilliant format. And, yeah, amazing that it had not happened before in Australia. But, yeah, we're very, very grateful that you did. And tell, yeah. us, uh, tell us about this, um, you know, endurance event that you have coming up and other endurance events that you have coming up later this year as well. Yeah, sure, absolutely. So, um, so um, open pit lanes kind of like uh, track day, test and tune type business. But I've also got another hat that I wear uh, called Motor Events Racing. Um, so it's a, a charity focused um, budget endurance uh, race series. Um, the idea behind it is you go and get a, a cheap car, kind of nominal five thousand dollar Red Bull value, so kind of anything more than ten years old, basically, uh, that's depreciated down. Uh, you throw throw a roll cage in it, some safety gear in, and then uh, grab four mates and uh, try and keep it going for 24 hours. Uh, well, that, the longest ones we do actually go up to 25 hours, um, and um, and then we do some single day and shorter format ones as well. So the next event I've got coming up is at the Ben Motorsport Park uh, on the 18th of August, uh, and it's a six-hour uh, event. So we give it a tongue-in-cheek name. It's called Full Send at the Bend. So lick the stamp and send it, Danny Ricardo style is the, the tagline. Yeah. Um, and and this particular one, because it's a shorter one for us, uh, short in inverted commas, um, we're allowing uh, a minimum, uh, a sorry, a minimum of two drivers. So you can do it just with two drivers. Um, you don't need a national race license to do it. Um, it's an endurance speed event. Um, so it's about running your own best strategy and accumulating the most laps uh, at the end of the day in in the class and in the bracket that you're in. Yeah, and for listeners and people, you know, watching, you know, on, on YouTube or TikTok, how do they get to know more about your services and Open Pit Lane? Uh, where, where's the best place for them to go? Sure. So um, you could jump on our, our social medias, um, 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 Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Open Pit Lane Australia is the, the track day side and Motor Events Racing is the, uh, is the comp competition side. Um, and uh, uh, you can also just throw them into Google. They'll come up right up, right up the top, um, Open Pit Lane Australia and uh, Motor Events Racing. Uh, motor Events, um, we're part of a national group as well. We do, um, I think we've got 16 events around the country this year. 
So there's someone on the ground in each state, and we've been doing that since COVID. So we, we were able to operate events um, kind of with closed borders. Um, and uh, the fun side of that means that if I want a racing holiday and I'm not organising an event, I can go on over to Sydney and race uh, with my colleague Paul's event or uh, up to Brisbane and race for, race at one of Ben's events. So um, it's, a, it's a great little way to, to uh, run a national series. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, you know, it's such a great family vibe, uh, you know, right from the minute you get there. It's, uh, yeah, spectacular. And also endurance events and working as a team and working on your strategy and maximizing your pit stops and minimizing mistakes. It all adds uh, to, to the thrill of endurance racing. And uh, no, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you on Saturday and Sunday. Um, at the yep, band, like uh, doing the double, <laughs> doing, yep. doing the double, and uh, very, very much looking forward to it, David. And uh, you know, it's people like you that you know give people the opportunity to live their motorsport dreams. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, for us, we're just really passionate about giving people massive amounts of seat time for their door um, and being able to develop themselves as a driver. And if that means they move through us um, and into you know national circuit level racing, that's totally fine with us. If they stay and do the kind of social stuff that we do as well, that, that's really good. But um, we uh, we just want um, to give people huge amounts of seat time and, and just a, a great weekend away, away with their mates. Amazing. Thank you so much for tonight. No worries. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Great Thank to you. Chat. Thanks, Bye. Take it easy. Bye.